friends in the last class we studied the list of insects attacking not only attacking causing severe economic damage to paddy crop across the country. So, as I said the IPM module or the practices recommended by various agricultural universities and ICR institutes will try to understand. First and the foremost is the selection of the cultivar or the variety itself. So, we need to have a tolerant or resistant variety. Now, across the country lot of varieties have been released. In fact, the scientists have gone to the stage of identifying the resistance source or the donor cultivars for various insects. In this table you can very clearly see for gall midge across the country some of the donor cultivars which are low yielders, but they are highly resistant to gall midge. Similarly, for brown plant hopper the donors have been identified and then for green leaf hoppers the donors have been identified. The stem borer which is an important pest TKM 6 is identified as the donor cultivar which has got a higher degree of resistance. They cannot be used for commercial cultivation mainly because of their poor yield, but these varieties or cultivars have been used in the breeding program by the breeders and then they have evolved many varieties which are high yielding, but having the resistance factor for various insects. For example, for gall midge, sneha has been released. Again, series of the varieties have been released across the country. Similarly, for brown plant hopper, vajram is one of the popular variety in Andhra Pradesh. Then, in case of Orissa Kanaka is one of the important uh, variety having uh, resistance to brown plant hopper. Whereas, for stem borer Ratna, Sashasri, Vikas are important uh, varieties identified in the southern zone having tolerance to stem borer. They can be used as the planting material in uh, the IPM program. Another important feature is in a given locality not just the one species is dominating sometimes more than one species uh, is causing economic damage. Multiple resistant varieties uh, also been uh, identified across the country. If you see this table you know variety Suraksha has been identified and released in Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal. This variety is uh, resistant to uh, brown plant hopper white backed plant hopper, gall midge and also to a disease blast. Similarly, Vikramarya in released in Andhra Pradesh is again tolerant to green leaf hoppers, rice thungro disease and then gall midge. Similarly, you know Lalat from Orissa has been identified for as a multiple resistant variety for gall midge, for BPH, green leaf hoppers and also to blast. So, these multiple resistant varieties can be used on priority because in a given situation if there are naturally there will be more than one insect species causing economic damage. Coming to the next group of management strategy cultural practices. You know lot of uh, cultural practices have been identified in paddy ecosystem. First and the foremost is early and synchronous uh, planting. This practice is useful particularly in managing uh, the early occurring insect pests like uh, green leaf hopper, rice case worm to a significant level and also the stem borer if you remember early sowing uh, you can just get a very low incidence than the later stage planting. Then one of the another most important one is judicious use of fertilizer, particularly higher nitrogen, higher will be the sucking pest damage. It is almost it has become a thumb rule. So, care has to be taken on this aspect. Then cropping pattern or crop rotation, instead of taking two to three crops continuously paddy in the same season, you have to alternate one season with paddy, another season with uh, 
other crop so that there will be breaking of uh, the pest uh, life cycle thereby naturally the population can be reduced. Then alley crops in case of paddy which is most important for brown plant hopper management leaving one row empty will uh, reduce the below the crop canopy the humidity can be reduced thereby the brown plant hopper population can be reduced. Then field sanitation which is an important uh, cultural practice because stem borer, gall midge they move from one season to another season by remaining in the diapause or the resting stage in the fallen uh, or the stubble of the previous crop. If you collect those uh, stubbles and then destroy it you will be reducing all this diapausing larvae which becomes the major source of infestation for the next season. Then water management which is another important aspect paddy requires soil moisture but not continuous standing of water. Continuous standing of water in the paddy field increases the humidity below the crop canopy thereby increasing the egg laying and egg hatching of a brown plant hopper resulting in severe economic damage. Again as I said plant hoppers and case worm one of the cultural practice is whenever you have a high population whenever you want to take up uh, uh, insecticidal application either granular or foliar application the best cultural practice uh, recommended is draining of water at least for 24 to 48 hours and then applying the insecticide. The effectiveness of the insecticide increases uh, by doing this uh, cultural practice. Then in case of termites the opposite way holds good uh, seeing that uh, the water is stagnated for 24 to 48 hours thereby the inundation of uh, the workers of uh, the termite colony results in the death of uh, the workers. Biological control is an important component in paddy IPM large number of uh, natural enemies have been uh, reported in paddy ecosystem. If you see this table for stem borer itself about 185 natural enemies have been uh, reported with egg parasitoids uh, dominating particularly telenomas, tetra stickers and trichogramma species. For gall midge again a parasitoid is most important. For leaf hoppers that is plant hoppers and the leaf hoppers lot of parasitoids particularly a predatory bug. Ceratorhinus lepidipenis plays a major key factor in reducing the population because this predator he predates on eggs, nymphs and adults that means all stages of the brown plant hopper. Similarly leaf holder has a lot of parasitoids and predators then another most important predatory fauna is spiders in particular. Spiders again there are quite a number of species are available among them Paradosa pseudo annulata is one of the important predatory fauna found across the paddy growing areas of the country. And then in the biological control even inundation technique is also followed particularly for leaf folder and for stem borer management. For stem borer management release of egg parasitoid particularly trichogramma japonicum because japonicum species is preferred because the egg parasitoid has got a long ovipositor which can penetrate the scales and then to the eggs of the stem borer thereby higher percentage of parasitization takes place. But for leaf folder trichogramma kilonus parasitoid can also be is also recommended usually 1 lakh per hectare about 3 to 4 releases starting from 15 days after transplanting is recommended. And uh, coupled with this you know in the integration technique some of the safer insecticides needs to be integrated particularly granular formulation of uh, insecticides are more preferred. So that there will not be direct contact to these parasitoids so that uh, the insecticide does its toxic uh, job whereas the parasitoids uh, will uh, reduce uh, the population in their own manner. Coming to the insecticidal component again insecticides belonging to different formulations 
in the first case the granular formulations are found to be more safer in paddy ecosystem large number of uh, granular formulations have been recommended and uh, belonging to carbamate group belonging to op group uh, belonging to neris uh, toxin group and also belonging to phenyl pyrazole group pifronil which is most effective for majority of uh, these uh, brown plant hoppers and the intensity of uh, their efficacy is also indicated with the three stars indicating uh, highly effective and uh, with a single star indicating a simple effectiveness based on the intensity the different um, granular formulations can be incorporated in the ipm package similarly in addition to granular formulations even spray formulation of insecticides are also recommended in the paddy ecosystem large number of um, formulations with the dosage rate is also fixed for example quinalfos and organophosphorus belong at a rate of 500 gai per hectare is the dosage recommended which is very effective for stem borer highly effective for leaf holder in particular similarly we have one of the safer molecule called as bufrofogen which is a growth regulator recommended at 100 grams a per hectare which is again uh, moderately effective for all uh, the sucking pests of late particularly the quinalfos and the monocrotophos usage has resulted in a resurgence of sucking pests better to avoid these two insecticide molecules and we have other options uh, of uh, sprayable formulations to be integrated in the ipm package one of the foremost component is economic threshold level use. Lot of studies have been made and they have standardized the ETL for various insects. For stem borer 5 to 10 percent dead heart or 1 egg mass or 1 moth per square meter in the uh, field is in the economic threshold level. And for gall mage you know 5 percent silvery shoot at the time of tillering is the stage and for brown plant hopper which is a major pest 10 insects per hill in the vegetative stage or 20 insects per hill in the later that is the grain filling stage is the economic threshold level for gandhi bug 10 uh, adults uh, per square meter row is the economic threshold level so these can be used for incorporating uh, the various uh, control strategies in particular the insecticides. I have tried to sum up uh, uh, considering the economically important pests like brown plant hopper the various IPM strategies recommended starting from use of resistant varieties, nitrogenous application, draining of water that means various uh, cultural practices, biological uh, practices of conserving natural enemies and use of insecticides both granular formulations and uh, uh, sprayable formulations in this table. Similarly for uh, gall midge also I have summed up uh, for uh, IPM package across the country again involving a resistant variety to insecticide application. And lastly yellow stem borer which is one of the number one pest again a package has been summed up here starting from uh, growing of a tolerant variety, destruction of a stubbles which prevents the carryover of the population, release of egg parasitoids and then erection of light and pheromone traps for monitoring as well as for destruction mass trapping also and then application of granular insecticides or sprayable formulations as and when required. To sum up all these IPM packages our methodologies starting from selection of a variety to the need based application holds good for the effective management or the effective reduction of the paddy pests whether it is a rain fed ecosystem or irrigated ecosystem with higher net profit. Thank you.